Hello and welcome from the Viral Academy. Today we are talking about this component, the so-called dual mass flywheel. First, we want to show how to diagnose defects. This component is a wearing part. It can break down after 150,000 kilometers, depending on the load. The installation position is difficult to show. Here, between the engine and the transmission, it is screwed to the crankshaft in connection with the transmission. Now let's start the engine. You can clearly hear a steady noise. The noise can also sound like scraping or knocking. Here we have this rattling noise. Now we heard a clear noise when we turned off the car. The flywheel is attached to the crankshaft in the connection to the transmission. When I turn off the engine now, the engine stops and the rotation of the flywheel disc is still there. The noise is caused by the recoil of the dual mass flywheel. Now I have this flywheel here. You can't see too much. Just the front and the back. These are the primary disc and the secondary disc. Now we can take a closer look at how it's constructed inside. You can see here how it twists. These are the vibrations that are supposed to be damped by the two different masses. One disc is stationary and the other disc is moving. The whole thing is spring-loaded. Now I'll show you how it's constructed inside. There we find our springs with buffer elements in between. The buffer elements wear out over time. Don't be surprised about the grease in the component. It is supposed to absorb noise and vibrations. Das gleichzeitig auch geräuschdämmend ist und auch äh, Schwingungen mit aufnimmt und absorbiert. Was what can go wrong with all these things? And what does it look like? Johannes will show you. We have opened a defective dual mass flywheel here. Here you can see the difference to the new component. The constant transmission of high forces creates friction and heat. In addition, the grease has almost completely dissolved. Then the following happens, the buffers wear off and in some cases the springs also break, and then a dual mass flywheel absolutely has to be replaced. But why go to such lengths? Do we need it at all? In today's modern combustion engines with direct injection systems, we usually have multiple injections, which significantly increases the resonances from the engine. We want to keep this vibration away from the transmission, the driveline and the entire suspension to avoid damage there. For this we need the dual mass flywheel. In addition, the occupant comfort is significantly increased. We can run the engine at much lower revs, so we also have an emission reduction and a fuel saving. We have now discovered that dual mass flywheels are wear parts, so we also offer you suitable products. As always, you can find an overview of our entire range at www.viralshop.de. Do you have any questions or suggestions? Write us a comment and remember, subscribe to our channel and see you next time.